I often talk about the importance of acceptance, but what I also notice is that a lot of people experience difficulty with acceptance, even having a resistance to acceptance. And when I listen to what they're saying, it becomes clear that there's a lot of confusion and misunderstanding. We often assume that acceptance means tolerance, that whatever the situation is, no matter how awful or dangerous or unhealthy, that we just put up with it. And if we're talking about someone's behavior, someone who is disrespectful, inconsiderate, even abusive, that we simply condone it or excuse it. But that's not at all what acceptance means. Acceptance is not tolerance. In fact, tolerance is actually a form of resistance or non-acceptance. So I want to take a minute to try and clear up some of this confusion. It seems that those who have the most difficulty with acceptance are those who find themselves in a situation which is very uncomfortable or challenging. And of course, it's easy to accept your circumstances when everything is going your way, or at least when everything is reasonably comfortable. But how to accept the situation when everything seems challenging or difficult or uncomfortable? Naturally, there's a lot of resistance to these kinds of circumstances. And what acceptance essentially is, is releasing or letting go of that resistance. Now, I try to be as clear as I can that when I talk about acceptance and resistance, I'm talking purely in terms of psychology. This has nothing at all to do with the external physical activity, physical reactions or responses, so when I talk about accepting the situation, I'm not suggesting passivity or inaction. Specific action may or may not be necessary, but your psychological state is actually what's going to have the greatest influence on that. And whether you accept or resist is what determines your overall state of mind, whether you're at peace or in turmoil. So most people are already in some sort of mental emotional turmoil in regard to their situation and typically that does nothing at all to resolve the situation it just creates all this agitation inside of us which we call resentment or frustration anxiety depression and so on and so when we hear someone saying that we should learn to accept the situation what we tend to think they're saying is that we should tolerate it that we should simply put up with it, not do anything at all to change it. And that very idea disturbs our mind all the more, that we should simply tolerate the situation. But again, tolerance and acceptance are not the same thing. Tolerance means that there is mental resistance to the situation, but externally, on the physical level, we may be taking no action to change it or to resolve it. So outwardly, we're very passive, but inwardly, we're disturbed, we're upset, we're frustrated, and so on. So in other words, tolerance means, I don't like this situation, but I'm going to put up with it anyway. And over time, that can cause a great deal of frustration and resentment and all of that kind of thing. So tolerance may appear on the surface to be acceptance. But inwardly, it's actually resistance. And again, whatever is a form of resistance is not acceptance. And tolerance is very much a form of resistance in as far as mental, emotional activity. Acceptance, again, means dropping the mental resistance, letting go of it, allowing the mind to relax. And this, in and of itself, can be very challenging because at least resistance requires some activity for the mind. And the mind likes to be active. It likes to think and to overthink, to circulate the same thoughts over and over in cycles. But acceptance is really about dropping all of that and just relaxing into the moment. And that doesn't require any activity for the mind, so the mind doesn't really know what to do. 
So how to just accept the situation when it's difficult, challenging, and uncomfortable? In a situation like this, naturally we want something to change, something to be different. We may want to take some kind of action, and so this idea of accepting the situation, how does that help to actually change anything? Well, when the mind is disturbed, in turmoil, overwhelmed, anxious, it's difficult to think clearly, and so we tend to get bogged down by all these heavy emotions. We tend to feel stuck, helpless, hopeless. However, from acceptance comes clarity of mind, and it's from that clarity that we find practical solutions and resolution, motivation and inspiration. So if the situation is difficult or unhealthy or whatever the circumstance, can you change it? And if you can change it, then change it. If you can't change it, then learn to live with it. But either way, this mental resistance is only going to make it all the more unbearable. So this is where acceptance comes in. And not that you only accept what you can't change. You accept everything. If the situation is uncomfortable, you first begin by accepting that. Accept that it's uncomfortable. But that doesn't mean that you don't take action to change it. It just means that mentally you're not resisting it. You accept that the situation is uncomfortable. And then, if you can take some action, then do it. Change the situation. And if there's nothing you can do, then don't do anything. But either way, you accept it. You let go of the mental resistance to it. So again, acceptance doesn't mean refraining from taking action because if there is some specific action that must be taken and you're resisting that action then you're actually in resistance which again is non-acceptance so by accepting the situation maybe there's some action that is needed and maybe there isn't but whether your mind is clear that's what we're really talking about here because knowing what is the best course of action what is the most productive or constructive or compassionate course of action requires a mind that is clear, not clouded. And that's where acceptance comes in because it allows in our mind a space of clarity from which to see what is the best course of action or whether any action is necessary at all. Resistance clouds the mind. It makes it difficult to see clearly, to know what needs to be done. That's when we become overwhelmed because we feel we should do something but we're in a fog and we can't even see a few feet in front of us so what direction to go in the mind needs to have some clarity and that means we need to relax and let go of the resistance allow the fog to clear allow the dust to settle and then we can see what direction to go in and when your mind is clear you don't have to overthink anything you just see what the best course of action is and then you take it it becomes very natural and simple but first you have to accept the situation and then you'll know what you need to do in order to change it or whether it needs to change at all if you find this content valuable don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.